Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to Football Discussions. And before we get started, just a quick reminder, we are going to be doing the 32 GM subscriber mock draft. So if you want to be one of the 32 GMs, subscribe to the channel. It's once we hit 1,000 subs. We're at like 880 right now. Keep growing. Uh, keep pushing to 1,000 subs. And uh, a little incentive for you guys who uh, subscribe right now. But today we are going to be discussing the big news that broke yesterday. Matt Miller came out and said that uh, there are some teams that have Zach Wilson rated above Trevor Lawrence. So uh, I kind of wanted to do a, you know, a deep dive in a, in a shorter video on, um, you know, what exactly this means, why this is happening, is this smokescreen, and kind of just dive into it and uh, really dis discuss whether that Trevor Lawrence uh, might not be some team's QB1s. Personally, Trevor Lawrence is my quarterback one. He's my number one overall prospect, but Zach Wilson is my quarterback two and my number two overall prospect. So I think the gap between them isn't as big as a lot of people think. I'm a huge fan of Zach Wilson. I think he's going to be really good in the NFL. And personally, I think he has uh, the potential to be the best quarterback out of this class. I don't think he's the best quarterback right now, but uh, in the right system, uh, with the right coaching staff, I think Zach Wilson could be uh, one of the most electric quarterbacks and, and one of the most electric players in the NFL uh, in, in, in a few years. So uh, I'll kind of read what Matt said. This is uh, his web, his new website. I think he left Bleacher Report, and now uh, he's doing this full-time. So I'm going to scroll through here. So uh, he says, but not everyone sees it this way. In fact, NFL scouting departments meet to stack their draft boards and discuss up in class at least one team as Lawrence at quarterback two. So that was his report. And then uh, a few other people said multiple teams have Lawrence as their quarterback two. So who, who the hell is their quarterback one? BYU Zach Wilson. This is a quote from an NFL college scouting director. What he does as a thrower and as a runner is exactly where we are as a league right now. He throws some of those 50-50 balls with his shoulders square to the defense after running around in the pocket. And I'm seeing Patrick Mahomes at Texas Tech all over again. So that's like the big comparison that's drawing a lot of red flags for some people and then uh, other people are really excited about it people are comparing Zach Wilson to Patrick Mahomes and I saw a tweet yesterday that was like uh, any Mahomes comparison you see just drop because Mahomes is one of a kind and I think that's really really accurate uh, no one's ever going to be able to replicate what Patrick Mahomes is currently doing in the NFL but Zach Wilson does have some of those intangibles that we see in Mahomes and it does come with the movement outside of the pocket right because at in the league right now when you're looking at a quarterback what are the things you look for obviously arm strength is very important accuracy is very important but you could argue that mobility is becoming the most important thing in a quarterback and that's why a quarterback like Mac Jones who might have been taken in the top 10 a few years ago due to the, you know, his ability to just manage the game, be very accurate with the football, be careful with the football, doesn't make mistakes, is now dropping back behind a guy like Trey Lance, who might not be the most accurate of guys, but has a rocket arm and can move very, very well. So what Zach Wilson can do outside the pocket, how he can progress plays, how he can square up his shoulders and throw on the run is something that teams are going to really, really like of uh, out of him and at the quarterback position currently in the NFL. And that might be something that Trevor Lawrence doesn't necessarily possess as well as Zach Wilson does. The other thing is that Wilson has years of starting experience, so it's not a Mitch Trubisky situation where it's a one-year starter, Dwayne Haskins, one-year starter, right? Zach Wilson has proven and uh, himself over the years and has developed over the years, and it was a new system at BYU last year, but he came in and he developed so much more. I think he dropped down. I think he says it somewhere in here. Uh, he goes from 11 touchdowns as a freshman to 33 touchdowns as a junior, so that's a huge jump. Um, and then uh, I want to see if he says his pick numbers. Yeah, so after throwing nine last year, he threw just three this year. So, uh, and put up a combined 43 touchdowns, and he's dangerous on the ground. He, he got 10 rushing touchdowns on the ground as well. So, Wilson is, uh, you know, a prospect that certainly is a very exciting prospect, someone that I'm super high on. Like I said, if you want to check out my big board video, I kind of go over it there, but I, I'm, I, I do have him as the number two overall prospect in this class. He excites me a lot. And again, I don't think it's that big of a gap between him and Trevor Lawrence right now. And obviously some teams are seeing um, Zach Wilson as that quarterback one. So let's go over some of the reasoning uh, of why that teams would have Zach Wilson over Trevor Lawrence. The obvious one being that teams just know they're not going to get Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence has solidified himself as the number one overall pick. I would doubt the Jaguars take any other player. So teams might already be like, and only like 17, 17 teams showed up to Lawrence's pro day. Uh, usually like with a prospect like that, you're, you see all 32 teams go, even if they don't need a quarterback. But He's already solidified himself as the number one overall pick. So it makes teams be like, why even scout him? We know we're not even going to be able to get him. Let's put Zach Wilson at our quarterback one. We can throw Lawrence at our quarterback two or not even include him on our big board, right? So that could be, I think that's the most obvious reasoning behind this. And then the other reasoning 
could be that because of that Patrick Mahomes comparison and how dominant Mahomes has been and how exciting uh, it's been to watch and how teams that don't have Patrick Mahomes are you know longing for having a quarterback like quarterback like that. If they see that in Zach Wilson, then they can certainly put him above Trevor Lawrence. So while teams might have Trevor Lawrence above or Zach Wilson above Trevor Lawrence, and this might be um, there might be some truth behind this. Uh, you know, I don't think that Trevor Lawrence isn't going number one overall. I think that's already solidified. There's no way Trevor Lawrence doesn't. And then the other thing could be there's some smoke screen. Let's say the Jets, right, have some, uh, are the team putting this out? This is the team that Matt's referring to. The Jets are like, Zach Wilson is our quarterback one. This could be just more trade incentive for them to move down in the draft. They could get a huge package. Teams are like, are they really this high in Zach Wilson? Do we need to be going after Zach Wilson? And whereas the Jets could be like, you know what, we're going to stick with Sam Darnold. So there's a lot of reasoning that can go in behind this. And again, Again, I really like Zach Wilson. I don't think any of this means that Trevor Lawrence isn't going number one overall. He is going number one overall and will be picked ahead of Zach Wilson. But it does interest uh, me and raises a lot of intrigue throughout this community of um, just how high teams are on, on Zach Wilson and can Zach Wilson be that quarterback. And I think what this really does is something that I've been saying for quite some time, and I feel like a lot of people have been saying for quite some time, is that Zach Wilson probably will be quarterback two in this class. I'm not going to call it a lock yet. There's a lot that can change. No, Justin Fields could have an insane pro day. Zach Wilson could have a bad pro day, right? There's a lot of stuff that can happen from then and now. But uh, I think that Zach Wilson, who kind of has, especially in the draft community, um, not necessarily just the college football fan community, has really solidified himself as QB2. I think that there's putting some uh, weight to that now. Uh, you see a lot of teams being very high on this player, just like I am, just like a lot of people are. Matt Miller has Justin Fields ahead of him. He has Justin Fields as his quarterback too. So there's still some discretion there, uh, or sorry, discrepancy there. But I, I genuinely think Zach Wilson has solidified himself at quarterback too, and that there probably aren't all that much truth to these rumors of Zach Wilson being higher than Trevor Lawrence, but uh, you you can see why. It's either the smoke screen, it's that Patrick Mahomes comparison, or it's... Um, the fact that teams just know they're not getting Trevor Lawrence. So there's a lot that goes into this. It's definitely uh, some big news and definitely kind of tore apart the internet yesterday, but just wanted to make a video to dive in on it a little bit. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content, uh, draft content overall, subscribe. Take it easy, guys. Peace.